G'day guys, how are you? In today's video I'm going to show you how you can get a message box to pop up with the option yes or no. So for example, would you like to exit the application? And if they click yes, then it exits the application. If they click no, then it does nothing. Or, you know, would you like to show some text? Yes. And if not, then don't do anything and changing colors and all that fun stuff using VB for Windows Phone. So let's jump into it. So I'm just going to write here, message, message box, app, yes, no. What ifs? I've got to get a blank app, Windows Phone, and we're going to jump right into it. And so I was creating the project, and the first thing I want to do is I'm going to skip all this, so I can just close out of that and go to my Solution Explorer and double click on Main Page, which is this one here. And just wait for it to load up before you do anything else, unless it can fail. Cool, so there's our telephone, and I'm going to change it to my size phone, just so you guys can see the proper scale when I uh, when I show you, when I project my phone screen, just leave using the emulator. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to black, and awesome. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two buttons, so button, one, Two, as you can see, two just kind of popped up there, right, popped down there. This will be button one. Well, technically, this will be button one, and this one can be button two. Great. So, button two, it will say uh, change color of background. I know it's not the nicest looking app so far. Font size uh, 25, so you can see. Cool, and this will be another button, of course, and it's going to say, what do you want to do? Let's make, let's change the color of the, uh, the button. Why not? Change color of buttons, all of them. And uh, once again, font size will be 25. Neither. Cool. So this is our app, and uh, yeah, it doesn't look the best, but whatever. <laughs> so um, let's jump into it. Let's start by changing the color of the background. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is delete this green stuff. You don't have to, but I do it anyways. And if you're following this tutorial, maybe you should too. So imports, uh, we're going to import windows.ui.popups um, and we're also going to want imports, we're going to be messing around with colors, windows.ui.color. Alright, well that's, we're already halfway there, not really. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to declare my, what my message box is going to say, so dim message as new message dialog and I'm going to write are you sure um, okay uh, do you want to change the color of the background and then our title will be are you sure cool and uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change this to a sync and now I'm going to give my button some buttons. <laughs> so I'm going to write um, message dot commands dot add, and then I'm going to write here a new uh, UI command, and then I'm going to like what, what do I want the button to say? So I'm putting brackets here, yes, and then I want it to uh, I want it to address me of another private sub in a minute. Address uh, me. Dot, and then we'll stop right there. Now what we want to do is you want to make another private sub. Private sub uh, change change uh, back, background color. So we're just going to write here simply me dot uh, background uh, equals a new solid color brush. 
and uh, now you're at windows dot ui dot colors and let's change it to orange so a1 change a3 one change background color the color background to orange so what's going to happen here is it's going to change the color of the background to orange if we press yes so address me of and then we can just write here change color background change background color sorry and that's the first one now for our second one for no so if I don't if I press no then I don't want to do anything so I'm just gonna write commands commands add and then write new so just the same as before I could probably just control copy it just to be honest but why not go through it again just so you guys can understand uh, address of me dot yeah and I suppose I could make another private sub private sub no change <laughs> that sounds pretty simple then the no change background color and so if it is that then it's going to go to no change background color of course I could just left this as no but I want to change it back to black me dot background equals new and I could have done an if statement as well in the last one but just so you guys can get a good understanding um, dot black. so the reason why I've made this button here is because if they click yes and they click button again and they click no it's going to stay orange but if they click no then it's going to go back to black so that's why I've done it that way and now we're going to um, write um, await message dot uh, show a sync and that's the first part of our code done um, so I'm going to just jump to the second one just so we can do it so once again declare message as new message dialog um, The title. Alright, so um, let's add some private subs at least. Private sub button color change. Um, I'll write here button button one dot background equals new. Oops, so let's color brush windows dot ui dot color dot and uh, colors dot and we'll change it to we'll change it to yellow and we're also going to the same so uh, we can just yeah copy that again and change the color the button name to button two. And now we can, um, why not just copy this code to save some time? Shit, I'll press Ctrl C. And uh, the first thing we'll do is change this to make sure it changes to a sync every time when you create a new product sub. So, message or command, blah 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 blah. We won't change this so it goes to our button color change so button color change and I'm gonna make it if no then it's not gonna do anything don't dress me with anything just just relax eh? so let's get into it where's my projector and my telephone there okay so let's load up the app okay so there's my phone and yep yeah, I'm gonna project it and I'm gonna make it a bit bigger okay 
All right, so let's begin by change color of background. So I've clicked on it. The first time always takes the longest. The second time you run the app, it seems to be a bit quicker. So do you want to change the color background to orange? Yes. And there we have it. And change color. Do you want to change back, uh, the color of orange? No. So we'll just make it back to black. And change color of buttons. Do you want to change the color of the buttons? Yes. And oh, that looks ugly. But anyways. <laughs> and no. Then we'll do nothing. See? That was to show you that you can just have it do nothing. Yes. So I made it with this one when I press no, it goes back to black. See? And with this one, I made it when I press no, it does nothing. So yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like the tutorial, please comment and subscribe for more of them. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.